Hello, Bill Molino here with Bill's War Game World. Well, I uh, received a very interesting note um, from a person that says he can't afford to have his figures painted. Um, his eyes have gone bad. Um, he he uh, sort of lost um, his interest in miniature wargaming. Um, he watches my YouTube videos and many other YouTube videos out there on wargaming. Um, but he saw one of my videos on painting figures quickly and easy, and he knows about my eye issues. Um, so when I don't have uh, Jim Shaw paint figures, um, World War II figures are probably the easiest to paint for 54 millimeter, cheap, inexpensive, fast. Now these are not going to be anything like the beautiful bolt action figures you see in the in the books, and all the great war gamers out there that spend a ton of time in layers and shading. I'm going to show a couple of people out there. Hopefully, will enjoy the video I'm going to show you how to paint some figures just enough to get by to put on the table. Here we have a plastic tub, a 54 millimeter matchbox, and Airfix. We're going to work on just one figure. So let's uh, turn our camera. I'm going to pause it here. Welcome back, everyone. And a huge disclaimer this is not for everyone. There will be somebody out there that will say this is bizarre to paint figures at this low level of a paint scheme. But um, here we go. First of all, you know about my poker chips. Get them at Walmart. They're clay with metal in the center. We have glued one figure on there. All right. So what we need is the E6000 glue to glue the figure to the poker chip. We're going to use some flesh paint. One paint brush to paint that. Paint the little figure guy. Um, we have Australians. We're only going to do one figure, so this will not go on forever as far as a video. And then we also have our paint markers. But, um, so the first thing we're going to do is, oh, over here is the goop. This is black paint mixed with water. This is will do wonders for these figures instantly. Now, I've had a couple people ask why I don't use the magnifying glasses that my wife has purchased and I have tried the reason is is I have a bit of an eye issue a medical issue and when I try to use any kind of magnifying glass everything goes double and I mean really double and then I get a terrible headache enough of that we are going to paint this figure and all we're doing is we're going to hit we're going to hit his flesh tones just a little bit nothing fancy okay so and again this is not for everyone we're just doing a little bit here and I'm going to pause the camera Okay, welcome back. Well, we threw some flesh on this figure. Now, that took me about a minute and a half, two minutes. It is not perfect, okay? So, next thing we're doing is, he has a machete. So with the machete, all I'm doing is taking my silver marker, And there we go. Our background music today is Battle of Britain. And if you live in Maryland, don't forget um, April 3rd, 30th in La Plata at the Veterans uh, Museum. They're having the Veterans Outdoor Festival. All right, so we did that. All right, I put my cap back on. Now he's carrying a... He's got a revolver in his hands. 
course it's probably a Webley and we're gonna hit that Webley now I know many youtubers can paint and talk and everything else well I can't so I have to pull the figure off the camera for a moment and so we threw some black on that Webley it's got some web gear now should be more of a khaki color but what I'm gonna do is just throw a little bit of brown on this with a marker this video is not for the detailed painters in my world we're making this video for a person that might be in their 60s or 70s or even older and has figures and has lost his interest or her interest all right that's all I've done I've thrown a little brown on there and we'll hit this belt all right and then so we have a little bit of brown and that's about it now I have scuffed up a little bit of the flesh here and there the flesh tones and I am pretty happy with this figure all right so these figures right here I guess there's 20 20 uh, Australians so right now you're gonna see this I just dunked them in here now I so We have a Australian that has been dunked. I'm going to do that again. Now what this has done is it is going to dry in all those cracks and crevices. This figure will be good enough to flop on the war game table. Now I could paint the boots really quickly also, but you'll see here the eye sockets will actually get uh, black paint would seep into there and it also go into all the back of the hair which is still green plastic but it will form up into there. So I find let it dry for 30 seconds or so do another dunking and there you go and you get your instant shading pause the camera all right welcome back as you can see this figure is not perfect but if it's just you and a couple friends and you're in a basement and you have a couple hundred Aerofix figures in a box and you want to spend an afternoon, a little bit of flesh, some silver black, and um, dunk them in the black wash two or three times and then uh, flock the base, which I've done the flocking videos. Or if you're not into doing the extra steps of flocking, you can always paint it green or sand. All right, you could probably do this procedure for these figures um, with poor eyesight like myself and maybe other people in probably in an hour or so. I probably myself would do some brown um, paint on these boots myself. Um, but other than that, I would be pretty happy with this figure. All right, um, this video may not be for everyone. But um, to the fella named Jerry out there, uh, thank you for watching my YouTube videos and thank you for uh, um, uh, asking these questions. And uh, Jerry lives in Indiana, by the way, everyone. And uh, 
we're just going to say, I hope someone who watches my channel found this interesting. Stay safe, be kind, be courteous, and be looking for videos from Gettysburg, Pennsylvania this weekend, and the Maryland Veterans Museum in La Plata, Maryland. Thank you again for watching.